everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing to share with you of my most recent order from scrapbook.com. I had a gift voucher to spend and they were offering a really good freebie at the time. So I just went ahead and bought a few things. So let's pull all this out and I can show you what I got. I'm going to start with the paper because I literally bought a stack of almost all the same type of paper. So basically I love wood grain backgrounds and it's one of the things that I really struggle to find in my stash. So I have a whole section of just wood grain backgrounds, but I'm getting kind of low because I use them so much. And whenever I go looking for one, I can never find a specific color or pattern that I'm looking for. So I just bought a big stack of basically all wood grain paper. So I will just go through all of them quickly. I won't take too long, hopefully. This one is the only non-wood grain paper that I bought and it is the Heidi Swap Honey and Spice collection. I just really liked this green diamond pattern. I, it really caught my eye for a background. It's a really beautiful green color. So this side is lovely as well, but I just really, I really like this shade of green at the moment. So, okay. So this is the Simple Stories Basics in the birch slash white grid. So really nice, bit of a mid-tone gray. And the B side is the white and gray grid. And this is also Simple Snowy Snap Basics. I think I got a few of these basics. Yeah, I did. So this is the Hickory Slash Cream Grid. So again, it's a bit of a mid-tone brown. And then a cream grid again. This is the Cedar White Ledger. So a bit of a darker brown weathered look. And white ledger paper. I actually really like ledger paper too. <laughs> Should have got a couple of those. Then we have the Walnut Cream Dot. So really nice, deep, natural wood grain finish. And then a dot grid on the B side. And the last Simple Stories one is Elm Cream Ledger. So nice, deep brown wood grain. And then another cream ledger paper. This one is Cartabella by the Sea. The paper name is Beach Wood Grain. So just a really pretty cool toned brown. And the reverse is anchors. I really love Cartabella paper. It's a nice, thick, textured paper. Okay, next I have a couple from Fancy Pants. This is Good Old Days. And the paper's name is Macintosh. So it's kind of like an apple, like a sliced apple pattern on this side. And the reverse side is this really nice, again, wood grain. <laughs> uh, again, Fancy Pants. This is Home for Christmas. And the paper name is just 25. Really nice varied wood grain pattern there. And the reverse side is these sliced tree trunks with the number 25 all over them. So it's obviously a Christmas paper. And I have a couple from Photo Plate. This is from We Are Family and it's called Our Story. A nice, really deep wood grain pattern. And the reverse is a cut apart. It's actually really nice. Really like the style of that. And then this is from Photo Plate, Best Dad Ever. A really nice deep wood grain. Very subtle pattern on it. The paper's name is Euro Classic, and that's a reverse side. It's a, like a border strip page. And I had a couple from Scrap Customs. This is definitely a bit different. I've never got anything from them before, but it's it's actually a slick finish. It's almost like a photo paper. You can see there, it's really shiny. So I'm not sure if I like that or not. Interesting to see how. I don't think I'd be able to do mixed media on that. Um, I might be able to splatter some ink, but it's um, a nice heavyweight paper and it's only single sided, uh, which I don't mind because I only wanted the wood grain side anyway. Um, yeah, just something to keep in mind. I did get two of those and the paper is called Aged Wood. Next is a paper from Fifth and Monaco by Pink Paisley. Really lovely chevron or herringbone paper number nine. So this side is a really lovely floral, but obviously I did buy it for the wood crane side. And then the last one I have is this one from Echo Park, which is called America the Beautiful. This side is just a plain. So I tried to get a good mix of deep. Okay, and the next thing I bought is this collection kit from Simple Stories. So this is the Happy Haunting Collector's Essential Kit. I really like the color scheme in this. Um, I believe it was under $20 and it comes with, uh, I think 12 different papers, cardstock stickers, die cuts and chipboard. So yeah, I think definitely worth it for the money. We have, 
On top here we have the die cuts. So lots in there. There are 64, which is, yeah, there's actually quite a lot in there. It's a fat little packet and I won't take them all out, but I'll just show you the back. There's lots of labels and shapes and little bits and pieces, words. I just really love all the pops of pink in this collection. There is your traditional black and orange, obviously, but soft pinks in it just really help to, I don't know, make it a bit more me. <laughs> yeah, I just really like that color scheme. So these are the cardstock stickers. So it's a big 12 by 12 sheet, lots on here. I love these little houses. That is all one big strip. And then you have a few title stickers on here. You have quite a few of these little icons as well. So the little cat and the pumpkin, little ghosts are really sweet. The spider web, the little candies and the bunting up here. And then you have a bunch of these tiny word stickers, which I, I use the heck out of these. I love them. And these little tabs I use quite a bit as well. I really enjoy those. Lux, good quality. I really like simple story stuff. All right, so chipboard is tucked in there. So there's a six by 12 chipboard stickers. Love this big title. You have another flag bunting. <laughs> this is really cute, this little poison bottle. Little ghosts again, tombstones. Oh, little pumpkins are sweet. I love these little florals actually that they've thrown in. There's a couple on the sticker sheet as well. So good for um, girl layouts or like even like pumpkin patch outdoor layouts. I think these would be nice. Oh, the pom-pom garland, that's so cute. It's just so cute and sweet. I really love this collection. Okay, and then we have the paper. So I think there's 12 total. Good quality paper. I am going to struggle though, because they are double-sided and there's only one of each. So it will be tricky deciding on which side to use. That's the only thing I don't like about these collection kits. It does kind of upset me that I have to <laughs> choose between the sides of the paper. So we have this really cute spider web pattern. And the other side is a six by four cut apart. This would be really cute to fussy cut out. I love this Hocus Pocus and this one too, actually. We have this chevron zigzag pattern, all those different colors. And then a four by four cut apart, really cute. Literally dying. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's made me giggle. Very cute. Then we have this small floral on a gray background and the three by four cut apart. These are really cute. I like this one. Candy costumes, pumpkin parties, goblins, ghosts, the little ghosts. I really like this one too. Yeah, I like too many of these. I think I'm gonna to have to use this side. Then we have a black background with a tiny spot that hurts my eyes in real life and on camera. I don't think I'm gonna use that in one big piece because it's, it's hurting. <laughs> um, but this side is the two by two cut apart. These are all really sweet. I actually love these two by two cut parts that they include. These are really cute to do um, grid layouts out of. And like I would fussy cut quite a few of these out, like this little cupcake, this little cat, the moon, the spider, the little pumpkins are really cute. Just love that. Oh, I really like this one. A nice mid-tone orange with lots of sketchy black hearts all over. Hearts, stars, <laughs> sketchy black stars. Really good for a boy layout, really good for a background paper. And the other side is, oh, I like that too. It's a black stripe, but it's got orange and peach as well. Mm, that will be a tricky choice. Then we have this beautiful buffalo plaid, black and white check. I have quite a few of these already though in my stash, so I think I could probably sacrifice this side if I had to. And the other side is all these florals. So I can see myself sitting down and having a fussy cutting session with these because they are quite separated, distinct little clusters. So I really like this one. This is like an argyle pattern. Just a couple of different tones of orange and there are some black stitch marks through there. They're very fine, so they might not be coming up on camera. The reverse side is a script. So it is a off-white background with black text and it just, it's a really nice script actually. I really like it. I wish it was a little more separated so I could fussy cut some of these for titles, but that's okay. It just says things like, let me see, skeletons, monsters, scary, October 31st, boo, Halloween, ghouls, goblins, eek, creepy. <laughs> then we have a off-white with a black polka dot. Nice for a background paper. Oh, I really like that one. Black background with all the different color hearts. Again, hearts, what is wrong with me? <laughs> different colored stars, so it's exactly the same as this one, but the stars are all pink and orange and peach and gray and white. Really like that, it's really lovely. Okay, black background with a white leaf. 
pattern. Trippy to look at. And the other side is another floral, very similar to this one, but has a orange background. Probably a little bit busy for me. I'm not sure which side I like better. Love this. Love that plaid tartan pattern. Really love those colors. That's lovely. Oh no, I like this side as well. <laughs> Actually, I could probably recreate this just with blank cardstock, to be honest. I just really like these colors together. I'm really enjoying the color scheme in this. Houndstooth pattern. And the reverse side is, oh, I really like that one. Black with orange spiderwebs all over it. What a cool background. I really like that one. And then the last one is a plain orange with a black polka dot. And the reverse side is bat. All right, the last few things I have in this bag. So this order, I was a little disappointed because I specifically went to place this order to get some of the new speckled egg distress oxide, uh, but they were sold out of the distress oxide ink pad, which is one of the <laughs> few items that I really, really wanted. Um, but you know, it's okay. So I did manage to get the spray. I was going to get the ink pad and the spray, but what can you do? So I'm really excited about this color. It's right up my alley. It's a nice soft blue. Now, um, this is all kind of random stuff because uh, a couple of these are freebies, which were the freebies. So these are my freebies. And okay, so I got some of the Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters um, scrapbook.com exclusives kind of to match a paper pad that I have. This is going to sound weird. I got this as well for this. So I bought a One Canoe 2 paper pad and that's the only thing I managed to get from Spotlight, which is the main craft store in Australia. I've never seen them have any other One Canoe 2 products. They just have paper pads, which is really frustrating. Um, and I kind of bought these to not not match it, but I think they complement it nicely So what I like to do generally with a paper pad when I get it is rip probably half of it Rip half of it out and make a kit with it a homemade kit. So these are bought specifically With that in mind. So this is Twilight. This is Creekside and these were actually on special They were heavily reduced so I grabbed them for that reason. But the colors match really nicely even like these florals are very similar to these florals. Um, one of the paper, like this paper has these pluses on it, quite similar tartan patterns. I actually really like One Canoe too. I don't have much of their stuff, but um, I really like it. This side, there's a bunch of writing on there that is obscuring that, unfortunately, but just a big tag, some little oars, which is really cute. So the storyline chapter stuff, I don't know. I just think it's quite neutral. There's a lot of neutrals in here. So this page is mostly just labels and journaling spots, but I mean, the overwhelming dominant color is this pink. Um, they're mostly really soft pinks and peaches and neutral colors. This blue matches this blue really nicely. This peach matches this peach really nicely. Yeah, I think I can make these work together. So I also got the ephemera, Heidi Swap ephemera. Again, there's actually quite a bit of craft in here, which goes with anything. The soft pinks and like not very many really bright colors. So the colors you do have are these warm, tones which definitely match this paper pad quite nicely and you have the butterflies and the flowers and the leaves so again going with that outdoor naturey theme so i think i can make a really nice kit out of this i actually didn't order any alphas in this order that is that is some kind of record i think i must have just forgot to be totally honest <laughs> i got a couple of packs of enamel dots i got these honey bee ones honey bee stamps i don't know much about this brand but these were uh, on sale so i grabbed them i really like the colors i really like pink and there are two different shades of pinks bright lemon yellow and the mint i like the variety of sizes as well and then i got the doodlebug sprinkles just in the white because i'm always looking for white enamel dots there's never enough white in my stash so this is just all white ones <laughs> so hopefully this will keep me out of trouble for a little while again a good variety of sizes in those which brings us to my freebies. So I believe these are valued at around $9 US. And this was my freebie for my order for spending over $60, I think it was. So, you know, it's an amazing freebie. I would have been happy with either one of those, but I got both. So that is pretty exciting. It's these simple stories. I am chipboard stickers and the bits and pieces, which is the ephemera. Here's the ephemera, a nice big, thick little packet. Um, 55 pieces similar to the other Simple Stories pack. You get a good amount in there. Really sweet colors, lots of pinks and yellows and greens and blues. Lots of cute icons, butterflies, birds, florals, little glasses, 
a little Vespa here. <laughs> And yeah, there's just a good mix. Like there's a suitcase, there's a book, there's a little house, a little camera. Like it's not super themed. It's just a bunch of lots of different icons and just a really pretty color scheme. And I believe some of these are foiled. And then we have the chipboard, which is a six by 12 sheet. This is definitely a bit more floral themed. So you have all these fish shell banners down the bottom. This nice big I am title. And then pretty much just all florals and birds and butterflies. <laughs> Really love these colors. So easy to use. Very soft and feminine. Definitely the sort of thing I tend to gravitate towards. And again, you get quite a bit of foiling on this. I don't know whether you'll be able to see everything that's foiled without getting all the glare. Yeah, you're just getting a glare off my packaging, but um, all these titles are foiled. The love hearts are foiled and, the, and these little bits on the banners here. All right, we're finally finished. That is everything I bought. I really hope you enjoyed watching this today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.